Hi, I'm Bill Walker, Chief Technology Officer at QA. I've been asked by numerous people over the last 24 hours about the NHS attack and actually are they themselves vulnerable to such an attack on their own machine or their work machine? The answer is very simple. If you've got a computer that's connected to the internet, yes, you are vulnerable. But there are precautions that you can take in the same way as driving a car, the precautions you can take to stop you having an accident, which might sometimes seem inevitable. So let's look at some of the things you can do and how they, that those actually were affected um, in the NHS attack. First of all, you need to make sure that you're running the latest operating system on your machine. The NHS attack appears to have happened on machines which are running Windows XP. Windows XP was, um, Microsoft stopped supporting it some time ago, and what that happens when they stop supporting it, it means they don't release any patches. Manufacturers such as Microsoft and all the tech companies on a very, very regular and, and often daily basis are producing patches for vulnerabilities that people have found in, in their software. Those vulnerabilities stop the um, allow the hackers to get in. So if you're on an operating system that is old and it's not patched, then you are vulnerable. So Windows XP, if you're running that at work, if you're running that at home, that's a problem. You need to get off that and upgrade to the latest version, such as Windows 10, for example. Even if you are on the latest version, you need to make sure that you keep it regularly patched, because if it's not patched, you're going to have exactly the same problem that uh, a new attack comes out and your software hasn't been updated. So you need to make sure that you enable live update patches over the internet, which will keep, um, keep at least up to date with what the manufacturer uh, is, is, is working on themselves. The second thing is then to make sure you've got a good antivirus software installed on your machine, because that will help to trap some of the things. But again, like with the patches, you've got to make sure that you are downloading on a regular basis, so set through the configuration of it, that it will update the latest virus um, uh, files, uh, which, are, which are known attacks, which it can then help prevent against. 